Hello, welcome back to my channel. And today we have Lico 297, serialized or and deserialized binary tree. And this question is often asked by a lot of company, like Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft. It's a really popular question. And it's also rated as hard question. So let's take a look at this question now. So now, as you read this description, it's saying that um, this is the tree right here, one, two, three, four, five, and we have to make it uh, deserialize by making this tree become a string. And then we use this string and make it an exact the same tree back. Like here is an example. The code will be uh, initialized and call as such. First, it will make it like a string first, and then later deserialize it, and then uh, serialize back and deserialize to the same node. So to compare the original answer, same as the uh, serialize and deserialize uh, node. So that's the example here. So let's take a look at the serialized one. So how do we make a node into a string? So there's a lot of way in here, you see one, two, three, they look it like top and then from different row, you can see one, two, three, and then no, no, after this, four, five. But we are reading this in different way. So when we see one and we put it there and two, uh, I mean, read the note first and left and right. Let's take a look. Like, um, so if root is no, then we return a string called no. So this is a recursion function. So now we return, we put the root dot value first plus and separate by a comma, comma, and plus we will have a serialized serial, the left side, which is root dot left plus and separate by a comma plus serialized root dot right side. So now we put this, after this, we will see the example here become one, which is the top node, and that will be two node no. And I will draw it out like this. Left, and we we'll frame the left left node and right node right here. So always form it like this format. So for this triangle right here, so we have top node and left and right. So this is a really important concept. By using this one, we can, it looks like something that we can read through from the left to the right, which is using a cube to solve this problem. Now we serialize into a string. So we have a string as input, as data. Now we make this string, as we put it to the queue right now. The queue will put us, we keep the string. Go to new thing list. And in this link list, we'll keep that data. Uh, well, as list. We'll break this data down by splitting it with comma, 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 sorry. <laughs> so we split that. So we see oh, it looks like exactly like this string. We break it down with the comma and then put it into the queue. So now we know the first thing is the root. And later we look through the left side and right side. Now we have the queue set up. 
and we turn a, we need a helper function that put the queue in there and this helper function oh um i erase this first sorry about that let's take a look at it uh, we have a helper function that return a treat node for deserializing. So we will put in a list, link list that keep that a string. So we call this a uh, queue. So we now we need to capture the root node, which is queue.pool. So if as equals quotes no which is nothing there so in this case we return no as no is a treat node so this is the edge case as we consider so if s is not no there's something so that's something we need to build which is the root node right here we have the root node We'll build a treat node for return. So we know the root node is the S right now. S currently is one. So we'll make that an integer. Well, R dot S. So now we build this back based on this input. We capture the one, build the first node now we know and the lab over q will looks like this and we'll have the lab portion the left portion will have uh the lab node so output dot lab will equal to a recursion function helper put in the q in there which is the remaining part and after we loop through the left queue, which is this part, and then we have the remaining part starting from here. Then we need to capture that to the right side, do the same thing and helper function. So we have this left side put to the left, right side to put to the right as a recursion function. Done with this, and we have the output node. Output tree right here, build up. Then we eventually return the output as the tree that we built. And then it should be the answer. Cool. And this is the three function that we built to serialize and deserialize it. And that should be it. And there's still a lot of uh, way you can do for this question. But this is just one of them. And hopefully that helped uh, one of the idea for this question. If you still have any question, please comment it below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.